Welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to talk about how to make a slideshow, a fun slideshow. Just go ahead and click on slideshow. It's going to ask you some preferences. You do you want the duration of each photo to be five seconds, and then it's going to have a transition of a fade or any of these others. And you can click on the preview to show you what that would look like. What's the transition going to be? Two seconds? What kind of background color would you like? Do you want to apply a pan and zoom to all slides? Do you want to include photo captions as text? Do you want to include audio captions as narration? Do you want to repeat the soundtrack until the last slide? And then you have other options here. I'm going to choose preview quality high, and I um, check this, show this dialog each time a new slideshow is created. Click OK. And we're going to have this little dialog box here. I wonder if I can stretch this out a little bit more so you can see it better and not be distracted by what's behind. Okay, so let's just drag this out a little bit more, sorry. Okay, and on top here you can save your slideshow or output it. You can add um, more pictures from which to choose from. You can add blank slides, you can add text, and you can preview it in the full screen. This is cute things on the side here. These are extras. Um, this is the text that you can apply to each um, slide, which is really nice. I'm going to show you in a second here. I'm just giving you a quick preview. You can add narration to um, up to a slide or many slides. These are properties. Let me see. Let me go back here. Um, you can add cute little animals to each slide if you wanted to. This is the properties which you can change. This is to enable the pan and zoom. This is the start, and you can change the location of it and end. Okay. Now, as we can see here on the bottom. Our first slide is a picture of a group of guys. The second picture is this red wine kind of thing. This is a picture of the Santa Monica Freeway, a picture of some flowers, and these are the transitions in between. Okay? You can further customize it by choosing different ones. So let's say barn doors for the first one. Maybe we want um, a clock white for this one. And we can try different ones, maybe waterfall to see how it looks. Um, pinwheel, and then we can use the rest as as they were in the in, in the dialog box. Here we can choose the, the duration of each. We can choose to set all to five seconds, or we can choose different ones for each photo. We'll just leave it. We'll set all slides to five seconds. Okay, that's done already for us. And then we can rearrange it. Maybe you didn't want the picture of the the gentleman first. Maybe you wanted a second. Well, you can switch them out, so you're not limited to that either. Now we can go back up to this and choose a narration. Now we can choose text. And maybe we can say, I don't know what text is going to stand out with that. Maybe white. So you drag the text over here. And then if you want, you can press this edit text under the properties, which I think is a lot easier, and say the guys. Okay, and you can further edit the text by changing the font, the font family, the color, the alignment of the sorts. Let's move on to the second one. Let's add another one. So maybe we can choose, I don't know, let's choose, well, the white actually might work still right here. We can choose edit text and we can say red, red, wine. And then we can click OK. Then we can drag it into place. Okay. Let's try one more, and this time let's uh, record an errorization. So we can click on this little microphone here, and we can record. So, for example, I'm going to record a sound. Vroom! And that's now recorded on that slide. If you want to play it to hear it, you can do that. Vroom! Okay, silly, but hey, it was a little fun. You can, if you don't like it, you can delete it, and you can also choose an existing audio file. Okay, and this will allow you to go to the next slide if you want to add narration. So, for example, let me go back here. Let me click on the next slide and record another one. Oh, how beautiful this flower! Okay, done. So that's one thing you can do. Maybe you want to have some fun and add a cute little custom so let's click on the bench here and maybe we want to add a 
some animals sitting on top of the bench to have some fun. So you can do that if you wanted to. Okay, you can change the background, you can change the size of the graphics and some of the effects. Okay, let me see here. Let me collapse the background. And then maybe if I wanted to add some glasses. So maybe you want to put some glasses on the on the animal here and then shrink them into size. Okay, there we go for fun. Okay, and then we can add effects and adjust the size there if you want instead of messing around in here, which can be a little bit difficult. Okay, so there's some fun that you can have there. You can add some flowers. So maybe on the next slide, next slide I want to maybe put some custom flowers in. Maybe there's a sunflower on the on the vine there and a daisy petal there or something of that sort. Okay. So you can see how you can have a lot of fun. You can also, for example, go to the first slide here and you can click on the start and you can move you should be able to move it. Yeah, you can move where it can start and then you click on the end and where it will end on the zoom. I mean the pan and zoom. Sorry if I'm not saying it correctly there. And here we can click on the start. Okay. And the end. You can do that. Okay. And then maybe do something of that sort. Okay. And then on the third one, the flower. If you don't want the zoom, you can add another pan and zoom to the slide if you want. That's up to you. And down here, you can add audio to your slideshow. So let's click here to add some audio, sample of music. Uh, let, let me see what Sleepaway does. We'll use that because that's typical slideshow music, right? I would not use it. I would add something more exciting. So let's try this one here. Okay, that's really boring. Let's try Kalimba. Okay, that would be nice. But we'll try Sleepaway instead. And then click open. Okay, it's going to add it. Okay, you can do a quick, quick reorder of your slides. Okay, and, but um, let's go back to the first one. And let's play it, see what we got. See, who said that slideshows have to be boring anymore? You can have a lot of fun, and Photoshop Elements provides this for you. I love it, absolutely.